A very warm good evening to one and all present here. This is team 16 and we are going to present a business plan and research uh, which is a star, uh, research on which is a startup on exotic vegetable seeds. The name of our company is similar to a product that is exotica seeds. So uh, next slide please sir. So coming to our team members, uh, it consists of four people. Uh, Mr. Vidbat who is our chief operating officer. Uh, Ms. Harman, uh, our Chief Financial Officer, wow. uh, Mr. Sayak, Strategic Lead, and myself, Nishtha, Chief Marketing Officer. So after completing our graduation with agriculture, we realized that the starting point of whole agriculture is based on seeds. But a lot of work has already been done in this field. So being a little innovative, we stepped into the exotic seed market. So coming to our company's vision, mission, and values. So the mission, uh, vision and values, uh, value statements together provide a direction for everything that happens in an organization. They, uh, they keep everyone focused on where the organization is going and what it is trying to achieve. So our vision is to emerge as one of the leading exotic vegetable company, providing people quality seeds and knowledge about the emerging industry. Our mission is to revolutionize agriculture by spreading awareness about the exotic vegetable growth and production and to deliver best to our customers. Coming to our values, first is client value. It is to surpass client expectations consistently. Second is integrity and transparency. To be ethical and sincere in all our transactions. Uh, third is fairness. So to, uh, it is to be objective and transaction oriented and thereby earn trust and respect. Fourth being excellence. So we strive relentlessly and constantly uh, and try to prove our team uh, services and products to become uh, the best. For a fifth is constant improvement. And sixth is the basic of all discipline. Next slide, please. Wow. Okay. So before setting up our company, we thought of doing primary research and also secondary research. So first we did the primary research. So what we did is instead of only focusing on farmers, let's also focusing on the people uh, because nowadays people are getting more aware about the organic uh, production and all. So if they want to grow for themselves, so we did the market research, primary market research. So main purpose is to know whether the people are aware of the exotic vegetables or not. Then also the consumer preference, which are the type of uh, vegetables uh, they prefer. And also to know whether the people are interested or not to grow the exotic vegetables. So for the promotion purpose, uh, we uh, differentiate into target groups. First, we thought of about the age group. So uh, we divided it from 18 year to 40 year plus. So we can easily concentrate it during the advertisement and promotion. And also the area of residence, so where they live. Uh, whether uh, rural area, area or semi-urban or urban. Then occupation, uh, whether they are students, because if they're students, uh, if they want to grow in their home uh, or their homemaker or government official land house. So methodology. We first, we did the extensive uh, literature survey to know uh, what is exist in the market. Then we determine the sample, like what are the questions to ask, to whom to ask. Then we uh, collected the data. Uh, we used the Google form. Wow. And then last, uh, we analyze the data which is collected. Next slide. So from the uh, Google form, what we got, uh, these are the our findings. So almost 79% people, they were know what is exotic vegetables. And when we ask uh, which are the exotic vegetables you prefer, most people like 67% people, uh, they told about broccoli, then 66% about the colored capsicum. Then lettuce, 49%, cherry tomato, 48%, and red cabbage, 26%. So these are the five vegetables which our consumers, uh, they prefer most. And about the residence area, for the purpose of promotion, we also ask this. Uh, for 39%, most of the people, they were from rural background. Then about 61%, they are from uh, semi-urban and from urban area. So we asked whether are you interested in growing vegetables or not. So they said 72% people, they were willing to grow. So they said, yes, we are willing to grow. And about the type of growers, because this primary survey was most uh, uh, given presence for the people who want to grow for themselves, not for the uh, farm area. Uh, so about them, 64% they told they will grow in the backyard, so kitchen garden. And 17% uh, 
so they they want to go in field uh, terrace garden 11% and 8% uh, pot garden okay so next slide so this uh, for, to know we are also concentrated on the farmers who grow extensively so in order to know gap in their system we did secondary research from the secondary research what we found is uh, main is a fake seed because there is a limited supply of seed from government and private uh, so many seed companies are emerging so they are providing fake seed so if you use that seed uh, there will be a, a less uh, germination percent or sometimes there will be whole crop lot also then storage problem because the protect uh, seed has to be protected from sunlight and there is uh, a pest uh, problem is there and rodents also so uh, for use uh, for future use we need to uh, build a proper storage structure also then about the uh, distribution so uh, from the farmer field who produce the seed to the another farmer field who produce for the vegetable purpose there are a lot of intermediaries which are present in the distribution system so we want to decrease this uh, intermediaries and last last one is about the accessibility so there is no efficiency and reliable system uh, for the farmers uh, to get a quality seed at a reasonable cost uh, mainly in case of exotic vegetable so these are the gap we found in the system so we want in order to solve the problem we thought of starting a company okay next slide uh, we have identified the gaps in the system but uh, before entering in any of the industry the competitiveness should be judged and that, that can be done by porter's five force model the center of the model the main force is competitive rivalry it's the competition between the existing companies uh, here in this segment in case of exotic vegetable seeds there are uh, not many companies but uh, they are in high values but the main uh, uh, main point is uh, in case of current situation 85% of the exotic vegetable seeds are being imported and uh, in current situation in case of in uh, pandemic situation people are driving more towards uh, salads and uh, nutri nutritious vegetables so that is one of our major market uh, market driver and uh, the next uh, and the next is government is promoting uh, the farmers to uh, to grow more exotic vegetables so that we have to import less so these things will help us uh, to in case of competitive rivalry so uh, according to us the competitive rivalry of the market is less the next is threat of new entry uh, the threat of new entry is uh, literally low because uh, this is a nascent, ma nascent market and uh, uh, many of the uh, industry players are not interested in these segments. So uh, the threat of new entry uh, is low. But here is the main concern is uh, the entry barrier is also less, which can be a problematic thing. Uh, the next one is buyer power, which, uh, which, uh, which is uh, the power of the buyers. Like... Uh, in this current growing situation, uh, the people are more inclined towards buying uh, the exotic vegetables for nutrition. So buyer power uh, is generally increasing as the demand is growing. Uh, so we can conclude that uh, the buyer power is currently medium. The next is threat of substitute. So uh, uh, in case of exotic vegetables, the threat of substitution means uh, the vegetable uh, by what the vegetables can be uh, substituted. So uh, we uh, they don't find any kind of substitution as uh, a substitution and the demand is also growing. So threat of the substitution is also low. And in case of supplier power, it's high because uh, the, uh, for seed production purpose, we have to, uh, we have to buy uh, breeder seed or nuclear seed. So supplier power is high. So, uh, uh, so cumulatively, we can say that uh, the uh, entry uh, to this industry is a little uh, is easy for us. So, excellent. Thank you. Faster. Uh, and the next one is production planning. Uh, after entering in the industry, as we are a seed business company, we have to plan our production. So, in case of production, uh, uh, we take five points: the location. Uh, these exotic vegetables are generally uh, generally temperate climate growing and they need chilling temperature before they are flowering. So we have chosen Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh uh, for our seed production purpose. Mm, the next one is plot selection. Uh, 
in case of plot selection we will follow two kind of ap- approach like we will lease, uh, for the initial years we will lease out some uh, ch- ch- plots for breeder seed production and r&d facilities from this field we will uh, ch- maintain our mother seed and uh, and uh, ch- which will be maintained for the next seasons and the next one is the uh, ch- farmers approach model here we will uh, ch- approach the common farmers uh, so that they can help us by producing foundation seed and certified seed and uh, by uh, and uh, ch- we will store that and uh, we will uh, sell that the next one is uh, the seed production purpose as uh, as we know uh, the seed production is uh, seed production and certification is not an easy task and it is under seed act 1966 so uh, we have to uh, uh, we have to uh, to approach local laborers for intercultural operations and for maintaining the certification program we have to hire subject matter specialist who will observe the seed production uh, seed production and certification technicalities uh, the next one is uh, storage and packaging for the initial years we will uh, approach the uh, already existing storage facilities because uh, uh, we don't want to invest in uh, we don't want to uh, bulk invest and uh, next next we will invest in case of storage and uh, packaging uh, then uh, the next one is uh, setting up storage hub because uh, <clears throat> in case of our uh, in case of our supply uh, supply uh, to the customer we will need a hub so uh, this kind uh, these things are under our production plan the next one is equipment and facilities uh, the, uh, we will follow same kind of approach uh, in case of storage and facility uh, storage and packaging facilities we will uh, buy the uh, necessary equipments and uh, we will uh, invest in uh, in establishing uh, world class r&d facilities coming to the next slide is our operations how will uh, how will you uh, how will we uh, perform the task the operations domain can be subdivided into three uh, categories like as production domain yet yeah, for this purpose we will uh, approach the current supplier of the breeder seed and uh, for seed production and research purpose then i have already uh, discussed our two kind of plot selection approach by which we will uh, produce seeds and uh, <clears throat> for seed certification purpose we will hire the uh, smss and uh, the next one is uh, storage facilities and r and d which uh, which is already being discussed the next one is promotion this thing is important uh, 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 we will follow Uh, two kind of promotion strategies here we will uh, uh, we will approach the farmer who are generally um, uh, generally willing to grow ex- uh, exotic vegetables and we will approach corporate farms who are willing to expand uh, to expand in exotic vegetable production domain through contract farming uh, models because uh, uh, we all know that the uh, new farm bills are uh, very much optimistic uh, uh, we are very much optimistic by seeing the new farm bills we can do that the next one is we will approach the current apos through which we will uh, penit- uh, we will penetrate the normal farmers the next one uh, the next promotion strategy will be search engine opti- optimization uh, this thing we will uh, advertise our uh, company through uh, search engines like as google and through advertisements the next one is retailing uh, here uh, our plan is uh, we will approach Uh, mainly the horeca segments like a hotel and restaurants etc so uh, we will target new delhi as our well, uh, brick and mortar store we will uh, open a, a single uh, brick and mortar store uh, initially and next uh, the, and then we will expand after seeing our growth potentials uh, our uh, main uh, model of retailing will be whatsapp ordering here uh, 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 the uh, uh, customers will order through whatsapp and uh, by uh, and they will pay us by traditional paying methods like as card payment or upi we all know about uh, the feasibility of upi through google pay or phone pay uh, uh, and uh, then uh, for last mile delivery we will use speed post or any courier service so that uh, 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 we can supply the we can deliver the seed at, uh, at a low cost uh, the next one is delivering the value the delivery channel the here uh, the, the delivery channel uh, the, the supply channel or delivery channel is subdivided into four legs the first leg is we will procure uh, the, we will uh, collect the seeds from farmer and our contract farmer and then uh, the, we will send it to the, our processing centers for uh, the, for uh, like winnowing and other intercultural operation parts and then uh, the, we will send the processed seed to dedicated storage facilities after uh, the, having the packaging the next leg is uh, the, uh, in the, the next leg uh, start f- uh, after ordering here uh, the, we will establish a dedicated hub for uh, the different cities mm, uh, a single hub uh, and uh, subdivided into different hubs here our storage uh, here our uh, 
uh, here our seeds will go to the hub and then uh, we will uh, send these uh, packets through packet to our uh, physical retailers and online retailing uh, partners this is the leg 3 and from them uh, the uh, packets will be delivered to uh, end uh, end consumer thus we are uh, planning to deliver the value the next uh, uh, i will request our the chief marketing officer ms nishta to continue thank you lovely uh, so coming to the marketing mix it uh, can it can be divided into four groups of variables commonly known as the four p's first coming to the product uh, we basically deal with four vegetables that are broccoli colored capsicum lettuce and cherry tomato the price uh, range of these seeds varies from 120 to 360 the highest price being colored uh, being cherry tomato rupees 360 per 5 gram or per 50 seeds and the least being the broccoli and lettuce being 125 rupees per 50 uh, seeds and the prices vary from veg vegetable to vegetable and uh, coming to the place initially it was uh, uttarakhand uh, uh, because it is preferred as the climate in this region is suitable for cultivation of exotic vegetables and later it can be spread to states like uh, karnataka west bengal and madhya pradesh as uh, the reviews from these states are really high so the customers are here are more as compared to other states and the headquarters are situated in delhi and coming to promotion so the activities that communicate the products features and benefits and persuades customers to purchase the product is basically what we uh, refer to as promotion so uh, we can do it with the help of newspapers social media platforms like whatsapp facebook etc and collaboration with agri websites uh, free gifts and higher purchases etc can help the promotion and make people more aware about the new products next slide please saik sir next slide please hmm. so coming to product promotion and publicity so uh, coming to the first point offering a lower price than other brands so penetration pricing is a marketing strategy used by businesses to attract customers to a new product or service by offering a lower price during its initial offering so as we are a startup we need to offer a lower price to attract the customers and uh, of course it will it will attract customers away from the competitors coming to the next point social media promotion so social media marketing is a powerful way for businesses of all sizes to reach prospects and customers Uh, the customers are already interacting with brands through social medias and if we we are speaking directly to our audience through social media platforms like so, uh, facebook twitter instagram pinterest etc we are missing out a lot if you're not doing this so great marketing on social media can bring remarkable success to our business creating devoted brand advocates and even driving leads and sales now coming to the third point uh, the next next slide sir please so using whatsapp for placing our orders it is the easiest way to connect to the people as most almost everyone uses this app the order can be placed through whatsapp and then the product can be sent through the post uh, this method saves money as other options require a lot of money so the next is collaborating with gardening sites and youtube channels so as these platforms are already being viewed by a large population so collaborating with such websites and youtube channels helps to increase the visibility of our product next slide please so connecting farmers to the nearby hotels so as the demand of uh, exotic vegetables is highest uh, from the hotels and restaurants so to encourage the farmers to go for the exotic vegetables it is necessary to have some benefits for them ensuring the farmers that the produce will be picked up by the restaurants by connecting them to the farmers motivates them to step out and try this new thing and uh, last thing that we can do for our promotion is free gifts on higher purchases so to lure the customers such schemes can be used small free gifts can be provided to the customers that will be useful for them such uh, such actions bind the customers and help to grow the company further in this case of exotic vegetable seed company the free gifts can be a seedling starter tray set or a spade trowel etc next slide please thank you Good evening to all. 
so it's very important for a startup business to have a proper financial plan because they're starting the business and if they don't consider the financial plan properly the business will not survive in the further market so first of all our setup cost so we are setting up the business and we require land and as we are importing the business as we have to import the seeds we have to consider all the import permit charges and import duties as well as the licenses from the seed under the seed act from the governments so that total setup cost is of rupees 19 lakh 81000 other than that we have to set up the premises and equipment for salary for machinery because we are processing the seed further that cleaner grader treater etc equipments vehicles telecommunication furniture and fixtures and that will cost us 18 lakh 90000 rupees next slide starting operation and revenues as we are importing the seeds that are the raw materials for the first year because from further second year we will be collaborating with the fpos and other farmers for producing the seeds in the uttarakhand region only so for the first year we have a high importing cost of 8 lakh 70000 for seeds like red chai tomatoes broccoli collard capsicums and the chilies other than that for other than that we have a seed multiplication cost of rupees 2 lakh 15000 as we are going to breed the seeds there The, then the third aspect that we are considering for the first year is a revenue we have compared a price with the competitors and according to that we have reduced a price by 10% from the other people in the market and set up a price with broccoli at 125 colored capsicum seeds at 375 red cherry tomatoes at 275 and lettuce at 125 and our revenue for the first year would be rupees 9 lakh 50000 next slide this is a business growth forecasting model because we are the first year of your startup so we don't can emerge with the uh, further five year start of forecasting cost so for the first year we would be having a revenue of 9 lakh 50000 with cost of sales of 7 lakh 20000 with investing in research and development in 20000 and sales and marketing charge of 1 lakh because we have to increase our promotion charges this time from the second year we would see a 10% to 20% decrease in a cost of sales as we will not import that much of seed we will be uh, collaborating with breeders and farmer producers so that cost will be reduced and we will see an increase in a net income and from the year third other than other than that we will also expend uh, more money on our research and development so from for year 1 we having only 43700 profit but till year 3 we expect to reach to 443175 profit net income next slide So this is the overall summary of our project. The exotica seed we have chosen a production side of Uttarakhand market produce, considering that the temperate crops grow there is better. Our target market is initially Delhi, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, and Maharashtra. We are considering the situation of existing gaps like accessibility, storage, and fake seeds. A marketing mix consists of products with high value seed promotion mainly through digital media, WhatsApp, and using the Indian postal system. A price and under par at current pricing system, and we are packaging according to demand. That is five gram only seed package for which. tables we are using a four leg channel for delivering the value and from net income of first year for 43700 we are going to tenfold increase up to three in uh, up to 4 lakh 43000 in uh, in three years thank you thank you oh my god congrats team 16 congrats thank you thank you very much oh my god